once again. Here's Stuart Scott. One of the most inspirational stories of the Extreme Games came to an unfortunate end when Fast Eddie Collins, an unknown mountain bike rider with no sponsorship who made it to the round of eight in the duel downhill, crashed in the quarterfinals and broke his ankle. Still, Eddie's underdog cohort, Robert Naughton, a registered nurse from Flagstaff, Arizona, was performing surgery, knifing through the pinpoint curves with a delicate precision, despite the pressure of facing the likes of Jürgen Binicki, 1993 World Cup downhill champ, Bobby Addy and Davis Finney, feeling the rush of downhill. Robert Naughton came all the way from Flagstaff, Arizona to compete in the extreme games. He isn't pursuing his favorite sport. He's a registered nurse. The top-ranked men were assured a spot in the dual races. Naughton had to qualify. And then in the seating race, he surprised everyone by finishing third, furthering his incentive for being here. Well, we were already back here for uh, a couple nationals and a World Cup. Um, but regardless, I would have been here anyway. I love this format of racing. Uh, ESPN did an excellent job with the course, with, with the uh, format, and the head-to-head -head racing, in my opinion, is a way of the future. After a big day on Friday, he had moved into the semifinals and had a six-second lead after the first run. Most you can lose in a run is six seconds, but if you're six seconds behind after the first run and then come back and win the second by six seconds, that means you go on. It's the person who gets that six seconds in the second round that makes the uh, move to the next round. In this case, it would be to the finals. Well, Steve Todd Tanner's run from his helmet cam. He's on the slower blue course, unfortunately, so Robert Naughton has all the advantages on this run. But you know, so much happens here, not only with spills, but with the tires and other problems to the vehicle, to the bike. We've seen so many accidents this morning, but that's just the riders getting closer to wanting to be in the final and really pushing it here. An idea of what it's like as you come across up to that jump. Doesn't look that great an idea to me. Man, they're getting some huge air off those jumps, ramping it all the way down. Todd Tanner just not doing what he needs to do. Rob Naughton, Big Naughton, as he's called, is taking the chances here and holding his advantage. Oh, Todd Tanner off of the course. So his day is done. Well, Tanner made it up in the round before this, but he's not going to do it now. Robert Naughton goes on into the finals. Terrific story for Robert Naughton. He's knocked off some of the best riders to get into here. An open qualifier wasn't brought up here with the invited athletes, and he is going to be going into the finals against the World Cup champion, Jurgen Benecke. It's only his second year as a pro. I had a good lead on Todd. He flatted the first round, but I wasn't taking it for granted because he won the World Cup here. And one mistake, and there's the six seconds. I just wanted to ride safe. He, he dropped behind early, so I just rode my own race, um, cruised down, made sure I stayed up because uh, I want the finals. We're there. Naughton has done a terrific riding all this week, getting this far along, had to qualify on Monday. But he's riding against a champion, Benneke, Benny, been World Cup champion two years ago, knows what it's like to win big races, not, not having the experience. But he has the handling skills, he just has to develop his pedaling style. Well, Naughton is learning there's more than just charging down the mountain. As you say, you have to learn those handling skills, how to make it through those turns without sliding to... Benneke's having a little bit of problem, and Naughton went right by him. So Benneke lost speed on oh the turn. What a surprise. They are flying down here. That's one of the fastest speeds through the speed trap. As Naughton comes through, and he it surprises. What an upset. It looked like Benneke had him all the way. Benneke behind. Remember, he has to make up almost a second and a half if he's going to win this event. And he hasn't gotten it yet. This is the hardest part of the course because all these turns are off camber. You're getting thrown away from your line on every single turn. Robert Naughton just has this dialed completely. Benneke cannot figure it out. The motocross man is beating the road bicyclist. Benneke in the blue course. Naughton in the red course. Naughton doesn't have to take advantage of the fact 
that this is not a peddler's course. Beneke would be stronger on a flatter course, but Naughton can just use his turning skill to drive down the hill. Great shot from his helmet. Naughton looks good coming down through here. Beneke's going to really have to go 37 miles per hour. He's flying down here, and the man comes out of nowhere. Here's our winner, Robert Naughton, the extreme game champion in the Dual Downhill. I was going fast in qualifying. The second qualifier, I went well, and from that point on, I knew I had a very good chance to win. Got a couple breaks, but for the most part, all my races were, were tough, tough races. Okay. The extreme games have proven that anyone with the desire and the ability can come out on top. Today, it was Robert Naughton who won the first extreme games dual downhill.